What motivates someone to hate? So the Holocaust isn't the first time in world history that uh, evil has uh, come up to the doorstep of the Jewish people. Evil and anti-Semitism and Jew hatred has existed for over 3,000 years. What about the survivors? They were not liquidated like so many wanted them to be. They were descended from a long line of Jews who had uh, faced hatred and conquest, pogroms and expulsions, forced conversions, and then the greatest affliction of all, the Holocaust. When I was a kid, there were still survivors. When I was a kid, there were still people alive who remembered the concentration camps and who remembered what it was like to live in Nazi Germany. My children don't have that. I saw it with my own eyes, people who showed us those numbers on their arm. So I think it's a very important thing for today's children, for today's youth, and for that matter, for all of us, to be able to come together every year at this time, consider and remember and reflect, because those survivors, for the large part, are no longer with us. I saw my first horror camp. It was near the town of Gotha. I have never felt able to describe my emotional reactions when I first came face to face with indisputable evidence of Nazi brutality and ruthless disregard of every shred of decency. And a lot of times people use the word shalom. Shalom means peace. But the root of the word shalom does not mean peace. It means to complete something. It means to take action for something. It doesn't mean complacency. It's a nice bumper sticker to say shalom, peace, complacency, no more war. But that's also very naive. The truth is that when people all over the world think of morality and goodness and freedom, they think of the red, white, and blue. And they should. Because that energy that we bring to the world is the idea that wherever evil will show its ugly face, we will go we will find it and we will destroy it. That's shalom, that's peace. You, the survivors of the Holocaust, remind us of that. Good and decent people must not close their eyes to evil.